Hello lovely people and welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you for clicking. Today let's talk about roofing. Yes, I guess you're excited. I am as well. So let's dive into the video and let's all learn something about roofing. All right. So I categorize roofing in two categories. That is how I put it. I don't know how you will put it though, but I put it in two ways so that it becomes simple and easy for us all to understand. So I call it the open type roofing and the hidden type roofing. The open type because I can see the roofing sheets. So I call it the open type, which is basically the one on your screen right now. Okay, it is open because as I walk around the building, I can see the roofing sheets. And then there's another type that is called the hidden roof or the secret roofing. That you are not able to see the roofing sheet because the roofing sheet is hidden and the blocks around it. So you can see the roofing sheet. You understand? So those are the two categories that I put the roofing. Either it's an open type roofing or a hidden roofing or they say a secret roofing. Okay. And then we talk about trusses. Trusses, we have two forms or two types. Either it's a wood trusses. As you see now, the woods have been placed on top of the building. Those are the wood trusses. And then there's a steel trusses. That is a new type that they are introducing now by most of the companies. Okay. So wood trusses and steel trusses, they claim that the steel trusses are lighter and faster in construction as compared to that of the wood trusses. But penny de penny, <laughs> boss na boss. <laughs> yes, boss na boss. So I always go for the wood trusses because it is stronger. You are able to walk on top of the roof and you are safe. Once it is treated with the right chemicals, the bugs will not come and eat the wood, so you are safe. Are you with me? In case you want to do the open type roof, I would suggest you do a parapet. Parapet makes the building look beautiful. This is solely my opinion, okay? Okay, I always give you something that is nice. So this design is coming from my Mason Aquisi entry. He does parapet design as well alongside he putting up houses for people. He does parapet design, fence wall design, pillar designs, and this parapet. Are you with me? So contact Aquisi entry. Wherever he is, he will come and work for you. Okay, so... Do your parapet before you place the wood on top or the steel trusses on top of your building and then the roofing sheet will come. So it's a step-by-step -step process. The parapet, the trusses, and then the roofing sheet. Are you with me? Yes. So let's discuss the issue on the, the roofing. So I talked about the open type and the hidden type roofing. So the open type, I'm able to see the roofing sheets Whereas the hidden type, I'm not able to see the roofing sheet. Now, it all depends on your pocket, the type of roofing sheet that you want, the quality, and it will come with its own cost. If you're going for hidden roofing, yes, there are various forms of hidden roof. Whichever one you choose will determine how much you're going to spend. So, Mr. Henry, today let's discuss our issue. <laughs> I know you'll be watching. <laughs> Once again, I want to say thank you to Mr. Henry. I really appreciate you a lot. Yes, Mr. Henry gave me 1,000 Ghana cities as an appreciation. And I'm solely, truly, truly grateful. God bless you and your wife. I'm truly grateful. All right, so Mr. Stephen, my foreman, also does parapet. This is coming from Stephen, my foreman, in case you need his assistance for blog work, plastering, a project from foundation to the finish he is there to assist you okay so you can see the parapet and then the roofing sheet on top okay yes so again we will talk about the roofing there are various types of roofing sheets okay both the stone type the aluminium type whichever way you want it depends on your pocket okay if you are closer by the ocean you need pure aluminium okay because of the salt you need pure aluminium to be able to, you know, if not, it's going to corrode. 
if you are away from the ocean you need aloe zinc aloe zinc means it's a mixture of aluminium and zinc all right so when it comes to the hidden roofing like i said there are various types that you can choose depending on your pocket there's a hidden roof that you will do that will cost you so much example of that is my roofing i'll be sharing that very soon on the channel so this is a hidden roof and where Michael Fassa is working right now is called the canopy or the rain gutter. Michael Fassa is one of my masons. He did this project. Okay, so where he's working now is a rain gutter. Blocks will be laid left side and then on the right hand side. So the middle becomes a walking path or a, a, a gutter such that when the roofing sheet is laid, the water gush all the way to the platform a pipe is provided and then the water goes through the pipe all the way to the ground you understand so you can walk 360 around the building in terms of the roofing at the top once you go to the top you can walk 360 you know around the roofing sheet whereas in other cases you can have just one sided okay the canopy is done on one side you are not able to go 360 just one side assuming we take four sizes okay three sizes eliminated and one side is casted as a gutter so the roofing sheet is sloped to one side okay that wouldn't cost you that much and then there's another hidden roof that there is no gutter at all the roofing sheet protrude from the block work okay the roofing sheet company provides their own you know aluminium rain gutter are you with me yes so michael fasta moved on Upon completion of the canopy, he started laying the blocks left and then the right hand side. If you watch the extreme left hand side, the height of the block is higher. So when you're outside, you'll not be able to see the inside. So from the inside, it's only two courses. This is the polytank area. This is where you're going to place your polytank. You understand? So this type of roof, it is hidden roofing. But there are various shapes and designs of the hidden roofing whether it's going to do hexagon pentagon or a butterfly whichever way you want it they will design it for you are you with me so you're able to walk 360 you know at the top of the here you can place your satellite dish okay your tv antennas your air conditions here at the top and it is all hidden unlike you having them stuck on the wall i don't like it when people hang their acs on the wall okay once you have something like this the other conditions should come in here it should be hidden it makes the exterior of the building looks beautiful are you with me so that you don't have the condensed water from the air condition you know splashing on the wall sometimes they have to remove the ac bring in another type of ac the the the, the, the width and then the height are different they keep drilling the wall chiseling the wall and fixing them with time you have some kind of deformity <laughs> on the wall are you with me so place their conditions here that is it makes it look beautiful here in Dubai that's what you do is hidden everything is at the top of the roof so Michael Fassad did a wonderful job here you can engage him for whatever um, masonry work that you need him for he'll be there to assist you so this is another Tab. this will cost you a lot because iron rods for the entire 360 and then the blocks and then the sand the cement and then the workmanship so when henry one of my subscribers says hidden roofing is expensive yes he is right in this regard okay with this one i give mr henry a 250 percent okay yes then we will go to another type of hidden roof that type of hidden roof it is just one-sided okay since it is one-sided it means that you've eliminated the three sides the three sizes have been eliminated so the cost is not that much just at the back are you with me example of that is this one this the gutter is just at one side and you can see it on the left hand side over there the wood have been stuck into the wall they cut the wall and place the wood within all the way to the top cut the right and and back so the gutter is just at the back so as you can see the wood trusses is sloping all the way to the back here you understand 
it is sloping all the way to the back here so here you've eliminated the quantity of blocks because you're not going to lay blocks on the left hand side and then on the right hand side where there's a working path 360 all around no you've eliminated that so the gutter is just on one side at the back okay where you create a platform for the poly tank okay and then for the air conditions and all other things your satellite dish all of that okay so the wood trusses is sloping all the way to the back here so when it rains the water will gush onto the platform okay and then they will provide a pipe you will see some pipes over there those pipes those are about three inches pipes okay and then the water will go to they will cut the pipe after the screeding then they will slope the screeding to the direction of the pipe so that when it rains it goes right in there are you with me yes so in this case it is cost effective you don't spend too much money on iron rods cement chippings workmanship for both masonry carpentry and all of that you've reduced cost but then if you go for the 360 canopy or rain gutter that's a lot of money and then you'll come to the wood trusses and then the cost of roofing sheet are you with me so secret roofing varies whichever way you want it there's another type that there's no rain gutter at all okay so these wood trusses will protrude outside it will protrude outside and then the roofing sheet companies they will provide a metal a rain gutter and those ones you see some pipes hanging on your wall all the way down okay those ones i don't like them okay so with this type of hidden roofing if you're not careful if the roofing sheets are not fitted properly there are leakages you understand you will have leakages if it is not done properly at the edges where the woods have been stuck into the block work if it is not done properly you will have leakages and that is where people complain that oh secret roofings you know have leakages but it will depend on what the type of roofing sheets that you go in the hidden roofing that you go in for you understand so i'll be guiding you as to how to do it the best form is to have the gutters done 360 or i will show you that so this is one of my subscribers uh, who shared this video with me when she had experiences of the leakages so she did the one-sided hidden roof where the woods were stuck into the wall and when the roofing sheets were done they were not done properly so these were the leakages that she had luckily for her she had done plasterboards which i'm propagating about plasterboards are the best okay so contact theophilus don't call my my plasterboard man and he will design everything for you so with the plasterboard it's easily for her to remove and replace without having to go through those pay mixing of this and the fiber and all of that no everything is neat here there's no dirty work here so these are some of the leakages when you have those the, um, the, the economical type of hidden roof it was caused by this one as you can see the aluminium sheets have been placed just on the wall the best form was for them to cut the wall and then hit the edge of the aluminium sheet within the cut area they should hit it in there and do a plastering with this method as they have done here when it's raining coupled to the wind it splashes on the wall it will sink all the way into your room so this type if you have done your pop or even your plasterboard you'll see the water coming in there and it will get wet okay so this type if you have someone doing a roofing sheet for you and they're doing the cheapest one of the hidden roof and they do it this way believe you me you will have leakages okay you will have leakages okay they should rather cut the block work chisel the block work and then place the aluminium profile into the block work areas that have been chiseled okay and then they do a thorough plastering to cover the edges so that when it rains it will just splash onto the plastering onto the uh, aluminium sheet and then all the way down y you understand that's how it's supposed to be done okay in that way then you have the cheapest form of hidden roofing where you eliminate the cost of iron rods cement chippings sand 
workmanship for the carpenter and for steel bender and for the mason okay because you just do the gutter at the back with a place for the poly tank are you with me but if you want to do a 360 canopy then that is where the cost becomes more all right in your view i'm giving you a list of roofing sheets companies in case you are in that area of the build you can contact any of them for a quote always remember that they will request for your roof plan without your roof plan they will not be able to build they will not be able to give you a provisional estimate because they will still have to come to your site and take the actuals so in the order of quality Raincoat is one of the best roofing sheet companies in Ghana, no doubt about it. Contact Rita and Christian. Christian is an estimator. Rita is the customer service personnel. Dormont Roofing is also the best. They are quite expensive with good quality. Okay, they will not cheat you for anything. Aridak is also very good. All right. Prisla is at the Kaswa branch and the two numbers are the customer service personnel. DBS, one of the best companies well known in Ghana but there are some hitches here and there but still they are still good contact sandra who is at the spinters road or sapon who is at the Sapeman area and then kk pepra another good company i love them contact esther or boatin boatin is an estimator okay boatin is an honest guy i know this guy because he's very honest the reason why i'm saying that he's very honest is that most roofing sheet companies their estimators are the ones that decide the price when they take the measurement they can decide to increase the measurement because you are not there and they tell you this is the area of your roof plan so you tend to pay more so you should be aware that your carpenter should give you the exact measurement of your roof plan so that you are aware you not get cheated and then also every roofing sheet comes with thickness okay there are different profiles we have the aloe zinc and an aluminium in terms of thickness we have 0 0.35, 0 0.4, 0 0.45, and 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the highest. But because you are not that abreast with the thickness, they will sell you a 0 0.5, which is very expensive, and then they will come and install a 0 0.4 or even 0 0.45. So you should be vigilant. Before you do any installation, ask them to give you all the thickness. Let them give you a piece of it. So that you have a feel of it so that you know that okay this is 0.45 this is what you are paying for are you with me yes in dbs they have different different categories they have rumble super which has a warranty of 10 years color link which has a warranty of 20 years so always ask for warranty if there's no warranty they just generate any certificate remember that your roofing sheet will fade in no time okay so let them give you a certificate that says anti-fading against fading raincoat K. Pepera, Aridak. Are you with me? I prefer you go um, Raincoat. And if you have doubt, you go for DBS. If you have doubt, you go for K. Pepera. K. Pepera, uh, reliable. Okay. Boatin, yes, the guy that I mentioned, Boatin is reliable. So you, you can do business with Boatin. And Raincoat, if you don't have money, don't go for Raincoat. The best roofing sheets in Ghana quality they have only one size just 0 0.5 they don't have any other size apart from 0 0.5 so you can see this another form of hidden roofing sloping to one side a canopy have been done okay this is also a hidden roofing okay and it slopes to one side okay and this is the open type roof which i put it open type roof you might have a different name for it so this is the open type roof with the gutters at the edge of it all right, this is another open type. I borrowed this video from one of my subscribers. He's my big man, Mr. Joseph. Mr. Joseph, thank you so much. And uh, Mr. Joseph and I, we've been through these roofing sheet companies. We've been exchanging contacts to share numbers of various roofing sheet companies so that we get various quotes to know how much they are all charging. So take your time and make sure you share your roof plan with various roofing sheet companies. Get various quotations so that you can decide on the best price. Always begin to the best. Yes, reduce the prices. Good. Estimators will always increase the area of your roofing sheet so that they can charge you more. Okay, so this roofing is raincoat. See how beautiful it is. So beautiful, unique. 
in fact it's so beautiful it's unique this is raincoat some roofing sheet upon installation it is bent it is crooked it doesn't look straight it's not uniform but look at this one this was done this is raincoat okay if you if your pocket is not as big as as some people that i know and it's as smaller as mine in my pocket is very small i will go for k paper k paper they have quality they will not lie to you they will give you exactly what you have paid for are you with me they will give you exactly what you have paid for so i will entreat you dbs yes you can contact sandra sandra too is she's at the office but the estimators if you contact sapon sapon who is at sapema okay he will also guide you all right this brings us to the end of the video in case you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it i like the thumbs up and share it to your friends and your friends and your friends and then make us number one okay yes if you need my assistant please send me an email and i will guide you from me to you it's shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye